The city of Hudson is another municipality in Quebec that has declared a state of emergency. Leanne Bridges lives there, and she's been helping the community. She's joining me now. Leanne, tell us, first of all, about the situation in Hudson. What have you been seeing? Well, uh, we've had quite a state here. Basically, we have about 10 kilometers of shoreline here, and a lot of people have been affected by the floods, and uh, as well as just normal people, their, their basements flooded, and it just doesn't seem to let up here. We've got, right now, I'm at the Volunteer Centre. We have an amazing community. It's just a beehive of activity. And people are coming, filling the sandbags. And the, every, the kids are off school, and they're all here helping as well. Wow, a real community effort. Tell us awesome. about some of the stories that you're hearing from people. Well, uh, one of my friends uh, was evacuated. has been evacuated from the next town over for the last several days. Uh, her father had to go in with uh, one of those bus slash uh, boats to get into the area to see if the sump pump was still working. There's fears that uh, Hydro-Quebec will turn off the electricity in that area for safety reasons, and the pumps will all shut down. Um, yesterday, I was helping somebody uh, with my son to create like a moat around their house, and there was water that was way beyond the 100-year watermark. Other people in our community are using boats to get to their houses. The water is up halfway up their homes, seeping in windows, doors, basements. It's a real mess. It really is crazy. I know you uh, snapped some images of military vehicles entering the city. What relief have they been providing? Well, they've been helping out, I think, with uh, first assessing the, what's going on and what, what relief can be. Uh, what relief we can have here, as well as helping with the roads, road closures, roads reinforcement, some of the bridges off and on the island, which we're off the island of Montreal, so that access is really important. We only have two bridges. One's closed. The other one is almost closed. So the, uh, we've been really thankful the Army's been helping out uh, with that, as well as helping making sure there's sand. As you can see behind me, there's Mounds and mounds of sand, and people are filling sandbags and, and uh, going out to the different homes. Everyone who needs them, we're, we're sandbagging their, uh, their homes. Okay, you take care, Leanne, and stay in touch with us. Uh, Leanne Bridges joining us from Hudson, Quebec, this hour. Appreciate it.